going on guys jurassic here today we are back to the expanse all right so we are checking out the rest of our ship today Con's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than i am whoever stole my barbecue sauce i've narrowed it down according to the fridge logs the likeliest culprits are arlene maya and drummer bring yourself in will be better for you she definitely doesn't sound like someone you really want to mess with so right now, our job is just to check on the rest of our crew. We did get the champagne bottle, so we might be able to go down to the brig and see our previous captain. Taking Cox's gun from him was as close to a captaincy ceremony as I'm likely to get. Okay, so this was our previous quarters then. That would be our suit. And into that one, we have... Patron. I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. He showed me. Looks like he has a pretty basic room. Nothing too crazy around here yet. Alright, so we have a new communication log. See that anything's different in there, so maybe we had already done that one? I kept telling Rayan to put that thing away. Now look at it. Yeah, it might be a little broke. Oh, is that a Rubik's Cube? I like the fact that they went into all this detail around the world. They did a good job. Anderson's station changed everything. We are approaching yet another anniversary of Anderson Station's massacre. But while many Belgers are focused on the future, the violence and cruelty of the UNN should never be forgotten. After a group of miners staged a protest over inhumane working conditions on Anderson Station, the UNN dispatched Colonel Johnson. His attacks on the station killed over a thousand Belters, igniting fury through the belts. The UNN has denied reports that the station has surrendered prior to the assault. Colonel Johnson resigned from the UNN soon after and has been working to advance the interests of Belters on Tico Station. But whether or not Fred Johnson manages to make amends to the Belt, we should never forget the UNN's willingness to sacrifice so many Belters' lives. Alright, so no one's really in their quarters. We have the cargo bay this way. Is there anything else down? Yeah. Because we came from the right side here, from the mess hall. Airlock. This is where we originally locked Cox in. I don't think he's found it here anymore. Yeah. So he's already gone. Officer's deck's where we came from, so I guess we just go down to the cargo bay now. Looks like she's got some stuff. <laughs> it was you? You stole Khan's barbecue sauce? This could be anyone's sauce. You can't pin it on me. Who are you gonna believe anyway? Me or the crazy old pilot? The pilot. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I feel like I should say you're right, just in case it's copyrighted, but we'll go try me and see what happens. I'll decide what I like and don't like.
Beautiful. It's very Martian. It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. Han's arm or thank you? Han seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. Thank you. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order and you put the whole- Oh my God, you're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. You held my hand. Felt sorry for you. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. Wow. So what do we got over here? All right, that says another new Artemis log. Water storage. Rain's leg cost us a lot of supplies, but the lack of water is concerning. We'll need to plan to restock soon. The water logs show regular intakes that have diminished significantly in the recent years, meaning the Artemis once had a larger crew. Years of Cox's empty promises must have driven most of them away. But when they had stuck around for the MK core, although they might have wound up clinging to the hole along with me. So we have 5% reserves. 
Looks like we're definitely going to need a little bit more water here soon. Oh, there you are. Cox doesn't seem too bothered by his demotion. Hey, Cox. Catch. The word you're looking for is thanks. Yeah, yeah. I thought the scotch would make him actually talk, but he didn't really speak at all. Cox. Are you here to let me out? Then kindly fuck off, Captain. Wow. So the drink didn't really open him up at all? So depending on the choices you made, you can go to Maya's room or you can go to your room. Sorry, Maya. Go to sleep, Captain. Pashang. Are you watching me? No. Nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? See if there's going to be a hint at the next episode or not. Should be releasing sometime next week. Alright, so it's 50-50. 50% of the community did not find the laser crystal. 50% found the laser crystal drummer found in the aided con surgery. I... Did we not find that? Alright, so Virgil's trust level. 19% told Arlene and Ray and she wasn't sure about Virgil. 62% told him that she trusts him. And 19% percent never even discussed it 40 percent didn't hear the entire story of con surgery what 60 percent heard the whole story of con surgery i don't see how we missed that 22 percent didn't find con a cigar 78 percent gifted con a cigar and learned about her past zero percent drummer found a cigar but didn't give it to con 67% didn't find medication for Arlene, which I'm not too surprised about because they didn't find it at all. 33% gave it to Arlene and 0% didn't give it to him. 83% found the mushroom powder for Virgil. 0% found it and did not give it to Virgil. And 17% of the community did not find the powder at all. 
47% didn't discover anything about Virgil's past. 51% Drummer talked to Virgil about his past. 2% Drummer didn't talk to Virgil about his past at all. 87% decided to listen to music with her. 50% gave the bottle of scotch to Cox. 23% didn't do anything. And 27% Cox wasn't in the brig. Wasn't in the brig, what? 13% chose to go to your own quarters and 87% chose to spend the night with Maya. That is going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll be back with the next episode when it releases.